Okay, so hello guys. In this short video, I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade iPhone 5S or any I I iPhone device from iOS 11.2.5 uh, 11 to iOS 11.1.2 or any or any iOS version which is available on IPSW or which is signed by uh, Apple. So uh, here I'll show you my phone. This is actually an iPhone 5S running on iOS version you want. So uh, what you want to do is you want an IPSW file, which I'm going to link in the description. See, if you don't know what an I IPSW file, then uh, then uh, then you are in big trouble, or you should not be watching this video. So yes, after downloading the IPSW file, you you want to go to iTunes and click this click this phone button. Then uh, what you want to do is I'm completely restoring my iPhone to to a new uh, factory new version so what you want to do is click on shift and then click on restore iPhone you have to turn off find my iPhone on on your iPhone so what you need to do is go to setting uh, what you need to do is go to settings and then in search search for find my iPhone then click on find my iPhone go down and you find my iPhone uh, select this as off then let me take some time turning turning off find my iPhone and yeah find my iPhone is off so yes click on shift click on restore iPhone PSW is downloaded click on I click on the right IPSW click on open yeah it will load up yes it will ask you iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 11.1.2 and verify the restore with Apple then click restore then it will extract it will restore this might take some time maybe yeah a few minutes let's see So currently iTunes is extracting the software and then it will push. Okay, so the, uh, so the software has been extracted. Now uh, iTunes is preparing iPhone for restore. Okay, as you can see, uh, it's currently installing. So this will be just like normal install, verifying iPhone restore and then it will install. Okay, while it is installing, let me just tell you some benefits of going down to 11.1.1. 11.1.2 or 11.1.1 or 11.1.x the reason why i'm downgrading is uh as we all know we might get a new jailbreak of 11.1.2 uh maybe within two weeks it's, it's already available but a stable jailbreak might be available by the end of december so uh, i urge you all to come down to 11.1.2 or any any ios less than 11.1.x because it is more stable it is not a beta version, it is signed, and yeah, who knows when Apple might just unsign it. Maybe definitely not but not before six months, but yes, it is always better to be down as you can, up upgrading is easy, but downgrading is impossible. It's more or less done. We are actually way ahead into it. It's not very long. It's just been 12 minutes since we started the restore. And yeah, let's see how much time it's going to take more. Okay, so now you can see as the message reads, uh, your iPhone has been a factory restored. I'm sorry, you might not be able to see it. And because the phone is restarting, we have lost that message. Now the phone will restart. And yeah, I, we are probably good. The important thing while you're doing all these things is actually not to panic and pee in your pants. Okay, now the iTunes has recognized that an iPhone has been connected, but it doesn't know because that iPhone is not on. Okay, as you can see, it says welcome to your new iPhone. And uh, probably um, I want to set it up as a new iPhone, then I will click continue. 
and yeah let's see okay but phone is not yet on let's just wait for a few more minutes it's been 16 minutes Okay, the phone is vibrating, I don't know why it was vibrating, but we have lost that bar and I can just see an Apple logo. So... Hola! Welcome to our new iPhone.